So let's talk about Azure Virtual Desktop prerequisites. The first one is you need to have a Azure AD. Next is you need to have an Azure subscription where you can deploy your VMs, your domain controller and host pool. The next is Active Directory domain services. So if you are already using your on-premises domain controller, you can use that using a VPN express route connection or connectivity to the Azure. Otherwise, you can also use Azure AD domain services. But I won't recommend using Azure AD domain services simply because it has too many limitations like you cannot add a domain, you cannot have a domain admin, there is limited uh, group policy support. The most important part which Azure AD domain services does not have is you cannot have MSIX app attach deployed if you use Azure AD domain services. Next is AAD Connect. So you need AAD Connect in order to sync your identities from your domain controller to the Azure AD. Next is Azure VNet. Again, it's needed so that your uh, virtual desktop services can talk to each other. So that's all the prerequisites. In my lab, I will be deploying everything on Azure Cloud. So I will have my domain controller and AAD Connect server in a resource group called Infra AVD. I will also use a Infra AVD VNet. Also, I will use another resource group called Infra HPRG. And here I will set up my host pool and inside those host pool I will have my session host. I will be using another subnet for the host pool but the subnet will be the part of the same VNet which is Infra AVD VNet. I will also have another resource group called Infra WSRG for the workspace. Now how things will work is whenever a user tries to access the session host it will first authenticate itself to the AVD service which is the remote desktop service in Azure Cloud. Once it's done, the user will be prompted again for the Windows credentials. There will be a Windows authentication because the machines are indeed joined to the domain controller. Once the authentication is successful, the user will see the application groups that assigned to him. Now, one more thing, the session hosts will need to join themselves to the domain controller. Now for this, inside the VNet, we will use custom DNS so that the session host can talk to the domain controller and add themselves to the domain as a domain joined machine. All right, I will see you in the next video where we will start deploying all this in our lab.